Welcome back to Brazen Brits. We recently had a conversation with one of our subscribers who said, what upgrades have we done to our rig? And we said, nothing really. But after thinking about it, actually over the two and a half years, we have done quite a few upgrades. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done them slowly every now and then, but they are considered upgrades and a few of them we, we would not live without. So let's roll the intro, we'll open the rig up and then we can show you what we've done. Well, it makes me wonder. So we lied, we didn't open up the trailer because Natalie made a good point that there's some upgrades underneath the slides that I wanted to show you. So the first one is, which this was not done by us, it was done by Jesse, who we bought the trailer off. Uh, he upgraded to the Moride 4000 independent suspension. We don't know how much difference this makes because we don't know what it was uh, before compared to the standard suspension, but he said it made a huge difference. So thank you, Jesse. That is one thing that we love. We've never had an issue with it. The trailer rides amazingly well. Tires, something else Jesse did. He put on the Goodyear Endurance tires. Uh, I don't know what they were before. I, they may have been West Lakes or China bombs. I assume these were upgraded. Again, we've had these on here the whole time. Never had an issue, never had a blowout, nothing. Love the tires. So one other tire related thing is we actually have the TST, the TPMS tire pressure monitoring system, uh, which we love. We recently got this. We did a comparison video of the TST versus the tire minder. Both were very, very close. We've chosen the TST. Go back, watch that video, check that out. Basically tells you when your tire pressures are too low, too high, too hot, bunch of other things as well. Very cool upgrade. So here's another upgrade before we got the rig. Thank you, Jesse is a lock box here. Now what used to be on here, and this is obviously the door for the trailer, there used to be steps that would come out or pull out. And uh, actually Jesse removed those. He put this lock box in here where it's really good for putting things like your Anderson levelers or your blocks or anything you need outside. And then that goes to the second upgrade is we have the Moride steps that they just flip down. steps are there they're solid steps and they're much better than the bouncy ones that were here originally so thank you again Jesse wait we have one more upgrade that Jesse did for us thank goodness ah oh, the RV locks he did that on the door and the basement we would not be without these I feel like this is an essential RV upgrade okay let's do some inside stuff so first up what everyone likes to upgrade but we didn't because actually it wasn't too bad is the shower head we went ahead and well, ours broke when we messed up the winterizing. You might remember that episode. And uh, so we went ahead and did the Oxygenics one that everyone raves about. And I will say, I wish we had done it sooner because it has those settings. So you can have it on like a jet stream and it finally gets through my hair, which is very thick. So I'm really happy that we upgraded this. So we also upgraded our toilet. I don't know if you remember from the Little Rock ep episode, the pedal broke and snapped and we couldn't use it properly. So as soon as we got home, we ordered one that was porcelain. It was bigger and Laura said a little install on that. And I'm so glad that we upgraded the toilet. So one of the things we did before we even started properly RVing is we had a, we got purposely got the bunkhouse so that I could change it into an office. And so I made this desk, everything's clear. We've ripped it all out right now because there's some changes we're gonna make. Um, but yes, I made this desk. We took a sofa out here. There was a bed up here and we replaced it with this. This was being my desk for a whole eight months. And whenever we go away, I use this. Obviously I have an office chair, but <laughs> love the desk. But I have some better, some better ideas. So just stick with us. All right, sticking with the bunkhouse, you can see up here I've installed our Petwave router. So that's really cool. I can have two SIM cards in this. We have one Verizon, one AT&T, and that runs all of our internet. We have not yet got Starlink. I'm hoping that will be a very soon upgrade. Let's see, I'm monitoring it, I'm monitoring it. Starlink will be next. But for now, we're using the pep wave, we're very happy with it. All right, so I'm back outside and this is our storage bay. You'll have to excuse the mess. But we do have, we did install the uh, Victron energy monitor with a single Battleborn battery. Um, we do have an install, install video on how we did all of that. I'll link to that to below. Um, but we love it. People keep asking us, how do you find the single Battleborn battery? It's fantastic. We obviously can't run 
all the big appliances off here but it does run the lights and charge all of our stuff and runs the slides and you know the heater pump and everything like it, it's really good we can spend an entire evening with all the lights on everything that we need um, just off a single battle born battery for at least a day it takes like maybe an hour to charge up using the generator and we can use it again for a whole other night so love it fully recommend having that now we recently, more recent upgrade that we did is I actually hardwired our LevelMate Pro and our RV Leveler. We like to use both. I'm still doing a long-term comparison of them both into the rig. Now that was only a few weeks ago, so go back and watch that. It's really great. I don't ever have to worry about changing the batteries, which was very irritating when you'd turn up at a campsite, you'd go to use it and it, you needed to replace the batteries. You have to find screwdrivers and then the batteries. It was a real pain. So they're hardwired. Don't ever need to mess with that again. Another upgrade that you should probably do straight away, especially if you're worried about gas stuff let's get the gas stops we love this product we absolutely endorse it and we have a cheeky little code that we would leave below if you want to get a discount for some gas stops of your own but you need these because if you have an accident and your propane line gets cut these devices will instantly cut off the propane so you won't have hopefully any explosions or any further problems or any fires and things like that so definitely one to do first okay something i missed in the basement area is i actually installed the smart things hub and we have sensors all around the rv so i can tell when doors are open i can tell the temperature i can tell uh, when there's movement of the trailer um, that's really good for monitoring the dogs it does need internet connectivity so it works perfectly with our pep wave so we know and i can set up limits and alerts on our phone so if the temperature goes above a certain uh, temperature we get alerted on our phone same as if it goes below so uh, and it's free there's no subscription for that it's not free you have to buy the initial setup but there's no subscription for it we love it it's been working for a year and a half no problems and it's fantastic okay another upgrade that we did that I'm not going to take this apart to show you but I'm sure Lawrence has some overlays is we installed one of the RV soft serves soft start RV <laughs> soft starts <laughs> and what they are is a little unit that sits on your fans and it means you can run two air conditioning units on 30 amp i think that's right is that right it's close enough yeah. it's close enough um which is great if you're really into boondocking or dry camping or you just need to go somewhere that doesn't have 50 amp um yeah they've been uh, they've been very handy snap pads I think everyone knows about snap pads. They're fantastic, we love them. Um, we were actually one of the first people ever to have snap pads for a travel trailer. They were always for the fifth wheels or the class A's. We work with snap pads to get them, you know, do some trial fitting and things like that on all of the different feet that they have. Snap pads are fantastic. I'm gonna be honest, I've said this all the way through. I love them just because they look way better than without. Um, but actually they are very useful for other things. They have really good grip or if there's ever, you know, on certain uh, soils, they have a much bigger footprint it means you also can't bend the metal feet so they're they're actually pretty strong with that so there's a whole bunch of reasons why you'd like snap pads i got them just because they look cool so i think everyone has a backup cam or an observation cam uh we had one that got stolen in houston and luckily halo view contacted us and they said hey we're happy to replace the one that you got stolen if you'll do a video and Honestly, we love this camera. The reason why I like this is because it goes over the rear view mirror, so it looks very inconspicuous. You'd never be able to see that it was there, um, and it just stays there the whole time. I can actually turn this off, and then it turns into a normal mirror, which is fantastic, but love it. It also films, it records everything. This is the RD10. Halo, do, Halo View do a lot of other cameras. You can have the, all the side ones and everything, but we love this because we never remove this, hopefully. No one steals it after watching this uh, this video, but <laughs> that's, what, that's what I like about it. Please don't steal my camera. So another upgrade that we did that, again, we wish we'd done two years ago, or three years ago, is we got finally one of the sunscreens for the awning. And I think RVDM has one of these on, on their rig as well. And when we went over for a grill one time, it just made the whole experience feel that more private and secure. And, ah, oh, it's... It's amazing. I don't even know how to describe it, but get an RV sunshade. They are awesome. Lawrence said, I'm not allowed to force you to get one. You should make your own choices. And if you don't like privacy, then don't buy one. Buy one. Buy one, they're great. <laughs> All right, well, that was it. Like, none of these are really major things. We don't have a huge Battleborn battery bank. We don't have all of these crazy expensive upgrades, but these are the things that we really love and the things that we've done along the way. We've done these over two years. There's no rush to do this stuff, except for a couple of things. RV locks we love. 
pep wave we love. So anyway, but I was thinking there is more things that we want to do. Yes. So I know I have a couple of things. I'm guessing you have a couple of things. So fire, what would be one or two things that you would want to do in the future? Number one, we need a washer dryer. I don't yeah. want to keep going on about this, but we have the space for a washer dryer and we no, really we need to get that as an upgrade. No, we don't. No, the problem is <laughs> that the only place to put washer and dryer is in my closet. <laughs> it's in my closet, so I lose all of my closet space. Our shared That's closet. It's the problem with the travel trailer. This is why we need a fifth wheel. Okay, uh, all right, so my thing that I really want to do is put Max Air fans in uh, all three areas of the rig. So one in the bathroom, one in the... Um, the kitchen and one in the office and i want one that's covered so the rain can't get in that's my big upgrade but they are pretty expensive but we're saving up we're saving up okay number two you definitely won't let me have this but i would love one of those little rv dishwashers <laughs> because i am so done with trying to get the grease off of our plastic plates really yeah i yeah i think they're cool and i and everyone that i know has one loves it I've never had a problem. I generally just put the plate on the side and then the next day it's all clean. Mm. So I don't know I don't know why you'd want that. That seems like a strange thing, Natalie, but yeah, not sure that's gonna happen anytime soon. Okay, and what was my second thing? You were something about a smart thermostat. I want a smart thermostat, yeah. yeah. I'd love to link a smart thermostat into our smart things. And so that's one that you can adjust on your phone, is it? Yeah, you can adjust it on your phone. Uh, we can monitor it when okay. we're away. Yeah. You know, we have the smart things. That we would can't be cool. actually change the temperature. So it'd be cool to be able to do that. They, I also starting to make some i know um people have there is a smart rv group on facebook that i follow and people have managed to do some cool stuff on there uh, i know matt from adventurous way um jason from getaway couple they're in that group they, and done they do it? some real yeah they have okay, they have right. but i'm too scared to do it but yeah <laughs> they are you can buy some now on the market so i really want to buy one of those and see how they work yeah cool so that's that all right anyway we are just rambling now yeah that's so we'll leave so, you. uh thank you for watching uh don't forget there is we recommend a video up here you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit that bell icon so you know when we upload new videos uh, or you can even join and become a brazier and support a couple of tits <laughs> and thank you to everyone below for support for supporting us we really do appreciate it we do. and we love some of the conversations on the members part of youtube so anyway we'll see you next week see you next week